What is up everyone, welcome back. This week I'm talking about a little but quite important thing and that is how to correctly put on and take off your dry top or dry suit, especially pertaining to the latex gasket. This sounds like a stupid thing to know about, but I frequently encounter a lot of people who break their uh, gasket whilst putting it on or taking it off. And a lot of this is actually to do with a uh, user error instead of the instead of the product not being very good. So uh, we can help as, as users, we can help our gear last longer just by putting our dry top slash dry suit uh, on and off correctly and using the latex gaskets correctly, thereby maximizing their lifespan and making our time kayaking more fun. Um, so let's talk about why they break quite a lot. There's two main reasons. One, they get uh, the gasket itself, like this part, gets all dried out and that can be from uh, conditions like where you're kayaking a lot and the temperature and the humidity. And it can also be from how you store it, uh, how much sunlight is exposed to, etc. And another more common way that I see them, especially in the wrist gaskets getting broken, let me show you, is, this part right here, you can see if you look carefully, the wrist gasket, and it's the same with the neck gasket, is actually just glued onto the dry top, right? And this is common, this is like the standard practice. Um, because it's just glued on here, if you have too much pulling force while you're putting your dry top on, what can happen is uh, eventually that glue is gonna pull off and you're just gonna pull the whole gasket off. Uh, and I've even seen this happen on like brand new tops and brand new dry suits. I've watched people do this because they're a bit over eager or they're just not knowledgeable. And quite often what happens is companies won't insure that part of the product because it's like perishable and they can't guarantee what happens to it once, they leave, once it leaves the factory. So quite often the, there's no recourse for you as a user, right? So you wanna get this right. You wanna know as much as you can, and that's why I'm working on this today. So, putting your dry top on, just a second here. Oh, putting it on, taking it off. Um, a few things to keep in mind. Make sure there's nothing sharp on your hands. Take off your watch if you're wearing one. Uh, if you've got any like bling jewelry that's super sharp, take it off. You don't need to wear it kayaking anyway, so get that off with your kind of order of putting it on that I think is the best or the most useful. I always try and go one arm, other arm, and then use those two hands to get the neck gasket wide enough to go on your head. And we'll talk about that in a minute. When I'm putting on the uh, wrist gasket, what I'll do is carefully work until my fingers are coming through here. And I've got my fingers in like a little kind of narrow cone shape. Um, carefully work to the end here, then use that other hand to just help it through and just putting very gentle pressure on it to widen that latex rubber gasket so it slides right on. Tidy it up. The same with the other one, little cone. Once my fingers start popping through, I'm just gonna help it on. Again, if it feels like you have to force it, just stop for a second, check it's not all tangled up or snarled or whatever. Uh, if you're wearing a hat, obviously you won't need one. If you've got a nice shiny, uh, you know, semi-bald head like I do, then you're not gonna have to worry about getting your hair caught up on that neck gasket. But if you do have longer hair, uh, having it tied back, having it out of the way is gonna help it. Uh, basically, you don't want the gasket to like catch on your hair and then stop. Uh, and get stuck there and if it does get stuck you don't want to try and force it you just want to gradually use your hands just to help that opening get wide enough so that your head can go through but you're not trying to like pull it as far apart as it'll go um because it's not really designed to have that like constant open and close stretch and also it's not going to form to your neck very nicely so i'm just going to get my head through and then just gently help it with my hands I'm not trying to go as wide as i can just easing it on. Once it's on, I'm just gonna use my fingers to flatten out that seal. I wanna make sure it's not rolling over on itself. If it gets to be rolled over, the seal gets a lot tighter, um, which is a lot more uncomfortable and also less dry, so it's like, 
a double loss, if you like. Um, and that's how we're gonna put our dry top, dry suit on. It's the same process, I use the same process. Ooh, this is a very new gasket. New gaskets are always gonna be the tightest. They do wear in after a while. You can trim them if you want to. I don't trim them usually, but you can trim them. Um, I'll leave a link below to Kokotat's official, like how to trim blog post or video or something like that. I know they had a good one recently. And then to take our dry top slash dry suit off, um, the process I use is to go head first, one hand, then the other hand. And again, we're trying to be nice and gentle on our, on our garments so they don't rip apart and break off. When I'm taking the neck off, I'll uh, use one hand in here and one hand in here, ease it up and off. And once I've got myself out of there, um, I'm not quite done yet. What I'll usually do is turn the sleeve inside out. And once I get to here, I kind of stop. Don't be tempted to yank on the arm. Um, Cause again, like I said, that's gonna stress that glue point there. What I'm gonna do instead is grab just inside my wrist and carefully ease my hand out. I'm gonna do the same on this other side. Try to maneuver so you can see. Just gently easing my hand out. Hopefully you could see that one. And then I turn my top back the right way out. And that's all there is to it. Um, the gaskets are the most fragile part of your dry top or dry suit and you want to look after them as best you can. Got another video on the way about care and maintenance for these bad boys, but um, honestly putting it on and taking it off is the most dangerous part. So that's what I want you to keep in mind. Um, be gentle with your equipment and it'll look after you. If you're not gentle with it, then, you know, that's on you. So hopefully this has been a short but informative video, give you some things to think about next time you're gearing up and I will see you in the next one. Peace.